Ladies and gentlemen, aviation geeks and frequent flyers, my name is David and I'm in Budapest, Hungary today. I'm at Budapest Airport to catch my flight on Lot Polish Airlines from Budapest to Seoul. And some of you might be surprised now why the Polish flag carrier is flying between Hungary and South Korea. Um, well, there's actually a very simple reason for that. Um, a couple of years ago, the Hungarian flag carrier Malev went bankrupt and that left quite a lot of gaps in the route network of Budapest Airport. And um, low-cost carriers such as Wizz Air um, were quick to fill the gaps on short-haul flights, but on long-haul flights, some of the gaps remain until today. And earlier this year, LUT tried their luck in basing one of their Boeing 787 Dreamliners here at Budapest Airport and filling some of the gaps um, on long-haul routes and see if they can, can make some money on these routes. So they started flying between Seoul and uh, Chicago, Hare and New York JFK earlier this year and now during winter season they're swapping out Chicago for Seoul. So they're so, uh, this winter they're flying from Budapest to New York JFK and Seoul Incheon. So today I have the honor to test uh, Lot Polish Airlines business class between Budapest and Seoul because apparently they got the pricing wrong. Um, on some of the first flights between Budapest and Seoul because I think today that's just like the fourth or fifth flight that they're operating between Budapest and Seoul and I only had to pay 390 euros one way in business class for this ticket which is ridiculously cheap and it's not a price that you should expect this business class uh, ticket to be but um, I wasn't able to say no to this so um, that's why I'm here and that's why we are flying to Korea today um, so if you've watched our episodes of Brutally Honest, this review series before, um, you'll notice that I don't think you should judge an airline by the free stuff you get or don't get. I think you should judge an airline by whether your expectations are met or whether they aren't. And your expectations depend on a lot of things. Um, they depend on the price of the ticket, which in this case was very low. Um, but they also depend on the reputation of the airline, maybe previous experiences, maybe, maybe you know, some coverage that other people put out about the airline. So my general expectation for LOT isn't that high because business class products in Eastern Europe are rather mediocre. Um, whether that's Aeroflot or whether that's... Um, like if you've watched our video about Air Serbia's business class between... Um, I'm gonna link it right here, that's why I'm pointing up there. Um, if you've watched our video about Air Serbia's business class, they are actually the exception to this Eastern European business class products are rather mediocre. So, you know, I'm very open for, for a positive surprise. As always, I asked you guys on the YouTube community page about what you would expect from a flight so I can check your specific um, expectations as well. And um, it seems like you guys have high expectations, but not too high. Like. Some of you do admit that LOT doesn't have the best reputation, so it would be unfair to expect, you know, Qatar Airways levels of service. But um, there are some very interesting things in there. Well, first of all, the regular business class airport experience, priority check-in, um, two pieces of check baggage included. I can already tell you that that expectation is exceeded because LOT provides, at least on my ticket, they provide three pieces of check baggage for free which is one more than I would have expected because two pieces of check baggage is like the regular number for business class flights. Lot Polish always included three and because of my frequent flyer status I can actually check in four pieces of check baggage for free. I will be traveling with zero. Um, but it's very nice to know that I could take 128 kilograms of baggage with me to Korea. Um, I don't know who needs it. Maybe, you know, if you're moving could be quite useful but um, well I got four pieces of baggage included in my ticket today as a regular passenger I would have three pieces of baggage included so that's much more than than I would have expected from lot so that's already an exceeded expectation um, the priority security lane which is something that a few of you mentioned um, a business class or a product of an airline is always slightly worse when you're flying from an airport that isn't their home base. So LOT's home base is Warsaw. So in Warsaw, they can very carefully coordinate everything that happens at the airport. They have their own check-in area. Um, they have 
their own security lines. They are able to put in a Star Alliance Gold Track, which is basically the priority security line. Um, they have much more control over what happens at an airport. So if you're at an airport that is not their base, like Budapest, um, or which is not their home airport, the service might be a little bit different, might be a little bit worse. For example, Lot does not have their own lounge here, so it will be very difficult to judge the lounge. I think every lounge, regardless of whether it's an airport lounge or an airline lounge, should offer hot meals. Um, so that's an expectation right there. But apart from that, I think judging the lounge really isn't that, that possible for me today because it's not Lot Polish Airlines' own lounge here. Um, I do expect there to be priority boarding as well and once I'm on the airplane, I do expect there to be a welcome drink. Um, there are actually two different ways to serve welcome drinks in business class. The first one is that there is a flight attendant with a tray and there are like two or three different kinds of drinks and you can just take one off. The other way is that they are coming to your seat and asking you what you want as a welcome drink, which is a more premium way to do it, but it's also more labor intensive. Since Lot has a rather small business class cabin, I think they only have three rows of business class. So they only have 18 business class seats on their plane, which would make it possible to actually provide such a personalized service. However, I don't expect Lot to go that extra step. So I would be very positively surprised if they do. However, I think they're just going to offer a welcome drink from, from a tray. And then before the first meal is served, whether that's... Um, whether that's already in the air or still on the ground, I think they are going to provide a hot towel. I think that's just, you know, a basic business class thing that a lot of airlines provide. Um, and then the meal, for business class meals, there are actually three different ways to serve a business class meal. You can serve it on a tray, which sometimes isn't actually that bad. It's just, it's more efficient. For example, Thai Airways, an airline which has a great business class product. I'm, I'm going to link my video about Thai Airways business class right here. Um, they have a great business class product and they serve their meals on trays because Thai food just consists of a lot of small dishes. So it would be very, very difficult to serve each of these dishes separately and then collect them again after the service. So they're just providing one big tray where everything is on just for efficiency sake. So I do understand why some airlines do this. Some airlines do this, for example, only on flights that leave at night, at like, if, if your flight leaves at 11 p.m., most passengers are going to want to sleep. So it's just quicker to serve the meal on a tray instead of going through the whole service in the middle of the night. But since this is a day flight, I can see a lot of Polish airlines serving each course individually, like on a plate, um, onto your tray table but uh, my basic expectation would be that the food is served on a tray. Um, and the second way would be to serve the courses individually without a tray. The third way would be to do a la carte dining, which is the most premium way, and only very few airlines do this because it's very labor intensive. Um, it, it means that you can order your meal when you wanna eat. So whether that's right after takeoff or whether that's six hours into the flight, it doesn't matter you decide when you want to eat and you know that's difficult for an airline because you know if suddenly 10 people want to eat at the same time that's just causes a lot of work for the flight attendants um so i don't expect that to be the case basic meal like quality wise i don't have expectations which are too high i think it's going to be like a standard meal served on like proper plates and with with like proper metal cutlery I hope that there's something Polish part of the meal. You know, I always like airlines incorporating the culture of their home country into their service. So that would be nice, but we'll see about that. Um, yeah, as for the flight itself, um, I do think there's going to be an amenity kit with all the basics like toothbrush, toothpaste, earbuds, um, eye shades, maybe some lip balm, you know, the basics for an amenity kit. I do not expect there to be a pajama. I think pajamas is only something that very few airlines offer on, on long haul flights in business class. Um, then I don't expect there to be any bedding. So bedding would be um, if you have your life flat seat, that's of course an expectation as well. If you have your life flat seat and then you have your bedding like between you and the seat, which makes it more comfortable to sleep on. Um, I've also just seen this rather rarely on most airlines in business class. So. 
I don't expect that to to happen today. It would be nice, but I don't I don't think that's going to happen. Um, of course, a proper blanket and pillow. I think that's just you know the basics. Um, and since it's a very new aircraft, I do expect there to be Wi-Fi. However, I don't expect it to be complimentary. Even though some of you mentioned that, but there are very few airlines which provide complimentary Wi-Fi, um, and I don't think Lot is one of them. And then. Some things that, that, are, that come from you, some expectations that you mentioned. I, one of you mentioned that they would expect um, uh, complimentary newspapers. I think this is something that in business class these days would be a fair uh, expectation as well. One of you mentioned um, noise cancelling headphones to be provided for the in-flight entertainment. That's something that I would expect as well. Um, that's an interesting expectation. Warm nuts in a bowl. What I would like, like, how I would phrase that into an expectation is there to be a little snack right before the main meal is served. So something that comes with your drink right after takeoff. I do think that this is something that every airline should provide in business class. So I'm gonna put this in there as well. Not as warm nuts necessarily, but as you know, a little snack um, to nibble on while the first drink is served. Direct aisle access is also something that I do not expect, mainly because I know what the business class seats at Lot look like. Um, they do not offer direct aisle access, but I am going to say something else that's positive about them once we're on the plane. So they're not all bad just because they don't have direct aisle access. They all actually have some really good advantages to them that I'm gonna mention once I'm on the plane. And um, yeah, I think we should head out to the plane now. I think I've been ta talking for way too long already anyway. Um, so let's head to the gate, let's head to check in. Let's check some expectations. Alright, so we are now airside here at Budapest Airport and um, as expected there was a business class check-in even though the check-in was a little bit chaotic because for some reason Lot has two different check-in areas for for the New York flight and for the Seoul flight. I, I don't really understand why they just don't have one large one but anyway there was a business class check-in. Um, there was a priority fast lane for security which was really easy to find and um, um, super efficient and um, now I am heading to find a lot lounge because um, just before security outside I met two guys who are from Budapest here who said who watch my videos as well and they told me that lot opened its own lounge here at Budapest just last week so I'm not trying to find this lounge um, because I didn't know there was a Star Alliance lounge here at Budapest Airport apparently there is now so um, I'm now taking a look and see if, if I can find it. All right, so the guy at the airport information now told me that the lounge is in fact in the non-Schengen area um, and that it is in fact brand new. So let's check that out. Now that's just tremendously disappointing. They do have a beautiful new business class lounge and it's closed. Look at that. You have a Seem like seems like you would have a buffet and like a great view, but very disappointing that it's closed. And the main problem here for me is that because they have their own lounge, they don't have any contract lounges. So you can't just go into into like there is another lounge, but I can't go in there with a business class ticket from Lot because you know you're supposed to go into their lounge. Like you see Qatar and Turkish and all, they don't have their own lounges here. So they have a contract with this lounge that you can go in there for free with a business class ticket and then the airline pays them. But you're supposed to go into their lounge, which is closed. Very sad, no lounge access. Like in the future, you are going to have lounge access. I don't think that like if you book a business class flight from Budapest in, in like a year from now that this still will be closed. But like today for me at least, no lounge access, sad.
So I just got some more information. I asked somebody who works for a lot here and he said that the lounge won't be open for another two to three weeks. So approximately by the time that you watch this video, the lounge should already be open and they actually do have a contract lounge. However, they don't have one here in the non-Schengen area. They only have one in the uh, Schengen main terminal back um, where we were before. But right here, they only have their own lot lounge and that one won't be open for another few weeks. So just just want to get that straight First one to board the plane. Can I have this? Yes. Three F minus. All right, so here we are, three F, the last row of the business class cabin, with a pretty neat wing view. And you've got quite a bit of stuff waiting for you here already. So you have your cushion and the blanket wrapped in there. Um, I'm not sure whether this is for for putting on the seat for sleeping or, to, or whether that's a tablecloth. We'll, we'll see about that later. We have a little amenity kit right here. I'm going to take a closer look at that during the flight. Um, a bottle of water is also waiting for you right here, which I believe is a nice gesture and, and I always appreciate that. You also have um, a napkin and a refreshing towel waiting for you already here. You've got your slippers down there. so. And you also have your noise cancelling headphones. So, so far, pretty cool. And even though the seats do not feature direct aisle access, I really like these kinds of seats because you have, first of all, you have a lot of leg room. And then when you put the seat into a full flat bed, you put your legs up here and then you don't have to force your, your legs into like a small compartment like with, with some other business class seats. So it is extremely comfortable to sleep in one of these. However, you do not really have a lot of privacy though. As expected, the welcome drinks are served on a tray and they do have champagne, which I, which I, which I appreciate. Look at this, a pre-departure canapé. I did not expect to get a little snack before departure. That's a very nice touch. I was told that this is um, fried cauliflower, so it's vegetarian, with a little mustard dressing. Looks nice. I've got some champagne as well, so it's a great starter. Nasza wysokość przylotowa będzie wynosiła początkowo 10 000 
sleeping was very comfortable. There was no, you know, there was no little hole that you have to put your feet in like with many other business class seats. However, the privacy for some people I understand might be an issue. For me, that's fine. And um, unfortunately, um, either the Wi-Fi isn't available on this flight um, or it's just broken and not turned on. Um, I wasn't able to find any Wi-Fi network on this flight, so wasn't able to, to see whether you have to pay for it or not, because um, I don't know whether it, it exists or not. Um, anyway, they're going to serve breakfast soon, some kind of breakfast, and um, then we're already landing in South Korea. The bathroom is also, also very nice. You have um, your towels here to dry your hands, and you even have a real rose that's like a real rose. And first, I thought this is just a business class feature, but when I went to economy class during the flight, they also have roses inside their lavatories, so this is not a business class feature. This is a standard feature on this flight. And I have to say, this flight is very full throughout all three classes, business, premium economy, and economy. Okay, so here we are. We have made it to Seoul Incheon Airport, and I do have to say that the, this flight with Lot was seriously impressive. Um, if you look at the cabin at first, you know you might think that this airline doesn't really care because the seats aren't the newest generation anymore, and you know, even though I think that they are underrated, I think people are giving them a much harder time that they deserve. Um, at the same time, I think that it's not possible to argue with the fact that direct aisle access just is the standard these days for business class seats and that, that that's just not provided on lot. But apart from that, there really isn't much that I could potentially complain about. I think um, the only really important expectation for me that wasn't met was the Wi-Fi because it, it wasn't even available for purchase, it wasn't available at all. And considering that that's a Boeing 787 Dreamline, a very new and modern plane, this was actually quite surprising. Um, but you know, uh, and you know the lounge at the beginning, but I understand that it isn't open yet. It will be in the future. Um, but apart from that, there really isn't much that I could, much negative things that I could say about the flight. The food was great. It was presented very well too. Um, there was a lot of food available throughout the flight, so you could kept, you could get some cup noodles in the galley throughout the flight if you wanted to. Um, the seat was also quite comfortable to sleep on because it's a little bit wider than your your average um, seat with direct aisle access, and you don't have to cramp your your legs into like a small compartment. So it was actually really comfortable to sleep on. Um, the in-flight entertainment system actually surprised me as well because the variety was great. They had a lot of different kinds of movies from Hungary, Poland, South Korea, all of the countries that that Lot serves, and you know, just in general, they're. My takeaway from this flight is that it was, in general, better than I expected. And, you know, that's what I love, to, to try new airlines and be positively surprised. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. 
And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the notifications because every time we post on our community page about the about expectations, you know, because we want to ask you for your expectations. So if you don't want to miss these posts, you need to turn on the notifications because otherwise it is really difficult to find these community text posts on YouTube. Um, yeah, but thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, let me know. If you didn't, let me know as well. And um, I'll see you next Saturday for the next episode of Brutally Honest. Thank you very much and greetings from Korea.